Hello, I'm Eric, product manager here at Klona, and I wanted to share an exciting new capability that we have released on Klona datasets. So for this uh, demo, I'm, I'm choosing our publicly available object detection Cocoa 24 dataset, and this is an, as I mentioned, an object detection problem. Uh, and what I would like to do is that I would like to set up a new measurement for my model results and propagate that measurement throughout all the models that I have previously tested to be able to uh, measure the performance of those models based on that new metric. So to do that, I can uh, navigate to Studio where you can see all the images uh, and bounding boxes here that are available in my data set. I'm going to click on Enhanced Data, and this uh, pops open the two uh, capabilities here. One is the LLM prompt extractions, where you can ask the LLM uh, what kind of uh, properties or information you want to extract from your images, videos, and text. Or uh, you can check out this custom fields. Now, for this custom fields, I'm going to add a new one. I'm going to call this net uh, correctness. And what I want to do is to calculate the uh, the number of true positive minus count of false positive minus count of false negatives. Now, doing a simple um, arithmetic here for this demo, which you know you can see all the operations that are available uh, for you in this custom field. So. Uh, once I, I put the formula, I can set create, and this will start the process of creating um, this particular mat, uh, math for all of the models that are already uploaded on this data Now that we have set that up, uh, I can go back to my data, add one of my model results, and go to data point details view, and verify that uh, this new metric, the custom correctness metric, has been added to the data set. And I can view this number for multiple models. So if I add multiple model results, this uh, new derived field or custom field is calculated for all of those model results. And I can uh, see those measurements here as they pop up. Um, and yeah, I can correct or compare model results at a data point level uh, using this solution. With that metric defined, I can uh, do many other things across the platform. For example, I can go to the distribution tab. I already searched for custom, uh, the net correctness custom field, and I can compare the, um, the net correctness value of these three models that I am evaluating and make decisions here. You can filter your uh, subset based on that uh, also. So the next thing that I want to do is that I'm happy with, let's say I'm happy with this metric and I want to add it into my quality standard. So I can go to my quality standard configuration page, add a new metric and select this new uh, derived field, custom net correctness, and let's say I care about the mean, that is a non-weighted mean of that value. Let's give it a uh, better name, so we can call it um, mean correctness, uh, that's correctness. And I'm gonna say uh, a higher value is better here. And just like that, I've added a new metric that I can use uh, when comparing my models in my quality standard. So if I can add uh, some of these models back in, um, then you can compare the performance of previously tested models using this metric uh, with each other on, on your data set. There are other things I can do with this drive custom uh, field. I can go to debugger and create plots using it. And in this case, I've plotted a, um, a difficulty score. There's a score calculated by Klena that helps you identify data points that contribute to model errors. Um, I've plotted difficulty score against the mean of this net correctness uh, field that we have defined. And you can do, um, again, you know, all sorts of different plots using this new field. 
Um, and yeah, so that's that's a demo for this uh, new capability. Um, I hope that uh, you get a chance to try it out and uh, try to spend less time fiddling with your notebook and more time discovering scenarios and comparing and uh, performing quality checks on your models. Thank you.